called Amy Jo and we're on the move today. Yeah. We've just had a cracking little mooring at the Rose and Crown in Zosh, or Zosh, I still don't know how the correct way to pronounce no. it. Uh, and we're now making our way into Loughborough this morning. So we've got uh, two, two locks. locks. And uh, we're going to try and get moored up down the Loughborough, uh, the Loughborough Arm because yeah. there is a big Tesco's nearby. So we can go and fill and up with food. food. <laughs> yeah, Chris wants to do a weekly shop. So, uh, and as you can see behind us, it's an absolutely glorious day. Yeah. So uh, I've even had to dig the shorts out again. <laughs> Unheard of. That yeah, will make that it is. rain. <laughs> so let's, uh, we'll catch up with you later when we uh, finish the cruise. We left our mooring on the Rose and Crown and carried on down at the River Saw, past the lovely St James's Church on Normacnon Saw, and then run into Loughborough Basin. We stopped here for a short while. We had planned to stay overnight, but after shopping, it was decided that we would carry on and uh, find somewhere to moor outside of Loughborough. We moved on and tried to moor up at Pillings Floodlock, but we couldn't get pins in the ground, so we ended up continuing on, finishing at Barrow on Saw. something about riverside properties and these are really lovely look at this they share the riverside between three houses almost yeah got their own private and, then and their own private moorings and a visitor mooring how about that <laughs> for their visitors not us by the way oh shall i go and have a go on the rope swing uh, <laughs> i don't know if you heard that chris wants to have a go on the rope swing typical <laughs> That's the school teacher, you know. <laughs> Beautiful carving there of a duck on a tree post. Can I have a tree house like, like that, that, please? <laughs> <laughs> that beats having a bit of decking on the ground, doesn't it? 
Now, do you remember that TV series in the UK called Who Lives in a House Like This? Well, I wonder who lives in a house like that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful place. Don't think much of the garage, though. I reckon the car will get a bit wet in there. And that is the view that they've got. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful places that here. That reminds me of one in Chester. The church there hidden in the background. Beautiful little churches around here. This particular one is at Normanton on Saw, where we are now, and that is St James's. Just look at that. What a beautiful. Well, it was a bit of luck, there was a waste disposal point at the top of uh, this lock and uh, it's just a skip mine but at least we can get rid of the rubbish and just beyond it is a water torrent but we're not going to use that today. Ahead of us is Loughborough Lock. It's the last one before you head into uh, Loughborough Town Centre. Uh, we'll be going through this and then down into the arm where the shops are. But uh, so far it's quite nice here. Ian of course on a uh, morning star there. If you didn't intend to stay or moor up at Loughborough Basin, you could quite easily miss the turning uh, to continue down on the main line. In fact, the Loughborough Arm, as it's known, is just a continuation of the main line. But if you continue down to Barrow on Saw, there is a tight left turn, which is easily missed if you're not careful. Be aware, mooring space in the arm um, is very limited. Probably space for just about half a dozen boats. And if, like Amy Jo, you have a long boat, then you need to moor up in such a way that you can get off onto the very short jetties.
On our return from shopping, we had to leave the arm as it was decided we were moving on. But in the meantime, two boats had pulled in, one to our left and one to our right. Both boats were 57 foot long boats, which made winding Amy Jo really tight. I probably had about five feet of room around the boat to get around. But as you can see, a little bit of patience and a little bit of time, we managed to swing around. to uh, not moor in Loughborough city centre. Um, we're now on the move again. Not quite sure where we're going to end up, but we'll see where we go. Now this is the local sea sc um, scouts, or sea cadets, and they really mean business. Just look at that. <laughs> not sure whether to doff me hat or dip me ensign. Tradition says in the Royal Navy, if you pass a naval ship, you're supposed to dip your flag. Unfortunately at this point we realised we couldn't get the pins in the ground safely to hold the boats in place so we had no option but to continue on the journey down the saw but eventually we found a lovely place to moor up. But first we had to negotiate this bridge. As you can see, there are several arches. We weren't actually sure which was the right one to go. Do we keep to the right hand arch, which would be the right side of the channel, or do we go through the center arch? In the end, I decided to go through the center arch, as usually the water is deeper in the mid channel. As it happened, it seemed to be the right one to go through.
others that look clear. One looks fully open and the other closed. Well, having gone shopping, we left Loughborough and we've carried on down the Saw and uh, we've just come up to the lock at Barrow on Saw and what a lovely mooring. Bit of a break here for tonight and then we've got a little short run into Thermiston uh, before we uh, do the big cruise through Leicester. <laughs> 